said that last week that you guys didn't expect to play many uh, runaway games. They're, they're only kind of tough games. Yep. Out. Uh, what did Santa Clara do to make it tough tonight? Oh, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, they're a team fighting for their tournament life, and they got a bunch of older senior-type players. Some are five-year guys, and, and uh, they're getting down to the end of their uh, careers, and they're going to, you know, they, we kinda, I kind of envision it going like that. You know, we made every shot uh, when we played them the first time, and, and uh, you know, tonight we didn't. So we had to – they were kind of daring us from the three line, especially early, and, and – uh, uh, you know, we took a lot of them. Not many of them went in early, but we, then we settled in, and I thought we had some nice runs, uh, especially in the first half, got up 18 and uh, kind of took our uh, foot off the gas, especially on the defensive end because we had a really good defensive half going. Uh, but then we had the, you know, wherewithal to hang with it and make plays there down the stretch and, and uh, stretch it out comfortably there at the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, this type of deal is for everybody here, like we always tell them. I mean, we hopefully have, heck, I don't know, six or what, are, you know, what, two, two, and six, ten more games left. So, uh, um, but, yeah, I, I, actually it's just good for them to step up and make plays in a tight game like that. You know, that's what you expect of them there. And, you know, I mean, Andrew's carrying a heavy load right now, and, uh and delivering big time, and, and then, uh, you know, Raw hit some big shots too, right when we needed him. What made you decide you wanted to start all, all the seniors? We've done that every year I've been here, so it's just kind of the tradition. So, yeah. So I didn't really want to mess with the tradition. They shot the three pretty well tonight. Was it just a hot hand for them, or was it something they were doing to create those open looks? Uh, I mean, they, they only shot 11 of them, so they were pretty selective, actually. Uh, you know, Pipes is really, really, really playing well. I mean, he goes four for five tonight, and I think we, you know, we screwed up two of them. Uh, but the other ones were, you know, tough, and he hit a lot of tough shots. He's, he's on, on a big-time roll. I thought we did a good job on Justice. He's a very scary shooter, and we did a good job on uh, Williams out there on the three line. Uh, but that's a good offensive team. They run some good stuff and come at you. They got big guards, and uh, uh, and we did a great job on uh, uh, Frankich because usually he's a handful for us. I mean, hey, it means a lot. I mean, it, it, it means probably even more this year when, I mean, you know, on the one hand, we're saying it's the best the league's ever been in 32 years, or at least since I've been here. And, uh, you know, everybody nationally and regionally and within the league is saying that. And the fact that we still are talking about four teams making the tournament you know, almost at the end of February, uh, it's, we've never even been close to that. So to be undefeated with, you know, one more – round to go is uh, quite an accomplishment by this group and, and to clinch it early is, is a heck of an accomplishment. Coach, I know it's not the biggest priority of your list by any means, but seeing some of the, uh, the pros come back for a night like tonight and get to talk to some of your players and come back and spend time in the kennel, uh, was it nice seeing like guys like Olenek and, and Suggs back out there today? Oh, yeah, yeah. First of all, it's really high priority for me. I mean, that means the world to me, and, and that's what makes this place so special. And, uh, you know, I was able to see all of them. Uh, uh, and it's just, it's, it's great that they, they want to come back. They got a short break. I mean, Jalen flew all the way, you know, from Florida to, uh, to get here, you know. And so, uh, actually, he was at the All-Star game. So, he flew from Cleveland to get here. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's just great. It's great to have Tills here. Great to have Kelly here. And uh, uh, just what makes this place so special. Yeah, another perfect home record. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy, and there's a lot of pressure on. It's fun as it is at home. I don't know what our streak's at now, but is it what? It's 67. I mean, that's unbelievable, uh, unbe especially with you know the the teams that have been able, came in here and take shots at us. So uh, uh, it's amazing. I'm 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 happy for our fans. They deserve it. 
uh, you know, to have a streak of this length and, and uh, you know, to, to hear Will Graves, I mean, that put it in perspective for me. They played three years and never lost a home game, so I don't know how many – how many players out in college basketball can run around and say that? Probably not many, if any at all. So uh, uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty special. Uh, it's been great. It's been so great having AJ around. Um, having both AJ and Joe around has, has been great. I mean, it gives you at least two hours a day when you usually don't see your college kids, right? So. Uh, uh, he lives and dies with the Zags. He always has from the day he was born. Um, and, uh, uh, it, you know, it was made for a good night. That's the problem with senior nights, So I mean, they're emotional and, and you know, uh, you have, you're, you're applying a lot of mental energy to that. And then you got to flip around and get jacked up and get your guys ready for a hard physical battle. And, and uh, uh, so I was happy that we were – we were able to have that on the front end, and then now we can enjoy it after this. It's two games left. You're coming up here on the road. San Francisco, they played you pretty tough the first time around here. With your played us very tough. Yeah. No, they, they, these are really, really good teams, guys. Okay, these are borderline. St. Mary's was in the top 25, so these are good teams. They're physical teams. They're big. They can match us inside, and they're old. So, uh, I mean, this is, a, this is about as difficult trip as you could ever imagine, and – at least in one of the cases, they're fighting like crazy for their NCAA tournament lives. So uh, this is going to be a huge, huge uh, challenge.